So, welcome to Armageddon. And when I mean Armageddon, the map is called Armageddon. We are on the normal difficulty, and technically I should really pause the game right now, just in case our vehicles down here are going to consume fuel whilst I'm giving you a bit of an introduction of what this game is. So, I played this game two years ago, and back then it was literally bare bones, it was fresh out the box, it was still in early access, which it is today. And, oh my god, this crater is absolutely huge. It's like a big toilet bowl. Maybe we can fill it with water and do some cool stuff with it. Uh, but if you don't know what this game is, it is a factory in, uh, industrialization game where instead of putting miners down like in our typical normal factory games that you guys see me play, we actually use excavators. We've got to make some quarries. We have to extract it all that way. You might have seen some fellow YouTubers do it as well. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I've got some free time on my hand and why not jump into it right now? So I need to get up to scratch with what I've missed. There's loads of new stuff and there's even a tutorial mode up here and I like build a coal maker and connect it to the smokestack, blah, 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 blah. We're more than likely going to work through all these so I can kind of remember what we do. Because take a good look at this island right now because it will not look like this by the time we are through with it. Because if we head down here to the layers, we can actually see all of the resources available to us. So we can see we have some coal right here. Here's some an overlay chart right here. We also have some limestone. We have some groundwater right there. We have some sand. We have a bunch of copper on the actual toilet bowl itself. We have some an abundance of coal over here got some iron some more sand and then across here is that what color is that that is gold so we've got some gold across there and obviously if you've never played this game before i'm pretty sure it's unless it's changed since then to get to these other areas we can kind of see we have access with our vehicles along here around the the toilet bowl and then kind of over here and then around basically the central island except here we'll have to build across here uh, but to get to these other ones, we will have to start building uh, and dumping our resources in them said locations so we can actually reach up to these areas for them, you know, ores, as we're going to want to extract everything. So we have a couple of settlements down here, which is where our people and our, obviously we need workers. We have a food market, which has got a little bit of potatoes in there. We'll have to put some, possibly some farms down. We have our ship here, which is not loaded with its crew. Um, it does need fuel and shipyard needs to be repaired. Okay, so the shipyard is currently damaged. Uh, the shipyard is overloaded with cargo, which is, I'm guessing this is our like starting cargo. Uh, we also have a abandoned communication station, which we can uh, disassemble and start breaking down into iron scrap, um, which is okay. And we have our little vehicles down here. Uh, so we have our little trucks. These will pick up items, uh, take them from A to B. But we kind of want to reduce that uh, when we start bringing in some automation conveyor belts and all that kind of good stuff. And then right at the end here, we've got a tree harvester. So maybe we can name these. I could name these some of you guys. That'd be kind of cool. So I think just to get down to the bare bones of things, I think we start up with the iron production, which is up here in the top left. So the first thing we need to do is build a coal maker and connect it to a smokestack. So coal maker is, yeah, so it's in Rhysology and Smelting. Coal maker is going to require 18 wood and coal. This is per minute. So if we have a look at this, we can just put this down here. I guess we can put it down just next to the trees here. Do we have any storage? Diesel generator that will give us power. Smokestack, here we go. This is what we need for this, right? I'm going to connect that straight to the... We can go into planning mode, I think. I don't know if I have to unlock that via research, but I'm pretty sure last time you could go into planning mode and you kind of like plan stuff out uh, and your vehicles won't send the rear, the items there to build it. They will do it, you know, after some time. I'm just going to unpause the game here real quick. So maybe these trucks will get moving. They will indeed. They're going to come over here, grab the items they need. And we have 440 fuel here. Uh, but if we check over on the right hand side, we can see what we have in. We can kind of see our levels. And we also have a recipe thing here. Um, it's kind of, oh my God, literally everything. Gives you everything regarding recipes. If we click on this... Ah, we can actually pin and unpin stuff. So if we kind of want to see how many mechanical parts, we can pin that. Now that's been added to the bottom right here. And we click on it. Oh, we can click on any of these. So we have our food, uh, our population overview. Uh, so we kind of see uh, the unity we're getting, which is up here. Oh, stable. 
Uh, what can be dumped by trucks? Dirt, rock, slag, and waste. Uh, so we can kind of add some stuff if we want to get rid of it. Uh, saying that, we should really put a dump down, right? A dumping designation. So we can either kind of like build ramps up. So if we want to get up to like some height, uh, high areas, we can get the trucks to dump it and kind of slowly build it. Uh, we can also flatten it out. So if we want to build out into the ocean, we can do, which which is not a bad thing to do, actually, uh, is maybe build out into the, the ocean, kind of build maybe some kind of docks. That could be kind of cool. And then if we press E, we can kind of raise this up as well. Obviously, I don't think if I were to build that, they will... Actually, they might. They might just kind of build up and try to build vertically. But when it gets to a certain height, they're going to need a ramp up, right? Because we do have to think about that, especially when it comes down to making quarries. We have to think about how our vehicle is going to get from, you know, top surface and make its way down. And normally you kind of make it like a little whirlpool kind of thing, right? So it seems our little coal building is up and running. So we do need some wood. So I'm guessing we now need to designate a tree harvesting destination. So I'm just going to get this area right here. And we're just going to get some trees being cut. So we're just going to do that. Uh, tree harvest is on his way. Look at him go. The beautiful little specimen he is. And I guess if we click on the truck itself as well, we can actually assign him a truck. So we can assign him a friend. Uh, and he will actually, whichever which one it will be, it's this one. Uh, and he's just going to sit there now uh, and keep going backward and forward. But he doesn't have a B destination. He currently only has an A, which is the tree harvester itself. So I'm thinking we just kind of put down a... Uh, do we have storage? I don't think we have storage. Maybe we'll just have to go straight into buildings because we don't even have research yet. Waste collection. Does this have a waste collection? Did I see that before? Oh, this is food. Waste collection needs to get put into here, but this is going to cost us 25 machine parts. Machine parts? Construction parts. Okay, let's put that on there because they're going to need to... We need to send their poop elsewhere and stuff, right? So we have a message sent to... We can kind of go through like iron scrap and we can kind of learn about everything. So if you are new to this, maybe uh, we're going to kind of wing it. Uh, winging it sometimes oh the research lab there we go uh cool things can happen some fun things can happen uh so let's kind of put the research uh building down let's just throw it over here this doesn't need any items or anything does it no we can set priorities uh on if it does need items but we can also set priorities if it needs uh for construction and we can also quick deliver the items using unity which is up here which is 12.7 which which we are getting 1.55 per month and we earn this via our settlements so if we keep our settlements happy we will get unity and unity helps us in quick delivering oh this needs power okay so we need to maybe we research lab free market maybe i should put diesel generator down is that just going to waste fuel right now possibly but anyway assign two trucks to the tree harvester maybe like i said let's stick to this little guide up here uh build a blast furnace one of them and connect it to a metal caster to two of them and a smokestack. Okay, so we're going to want a blast furnace. Let's put this down here. Uh, let's, just, let's just kind of go... By the by the way, before we even started this series, there is an abundance of room, right? And I know a lot of you are already going to say, bitch, you've got so much room. You do this in every single game that we play, and you'll be like, you've got so much room. Why are you making everything so tight? And yeah, anyway... Um, so one blast furnace, and it was two metal casters. Why two metal casters? So we can kind of see we are currently having short 60 per minute. So this needs 24 iron scrap per minute, 9 coal per minute, 24 molten iron per minute, and, ex, uh, and exhaust 18 steam per minute. So we are going to need a smokestack on this. And then we're going to need two metal casters, right? Ah, that's why it requests two, because it does 12. This is outputting 24. So it needs two of these. So it does have molten coming out. And we do have transport here. We have molten channel and pipe. So that's the only thing we can really automate right now. We don't have any conveyor belts. So we have a molten channel. And what this does is it just supports liquid metals. And then we've also got pipes, which can do steam and liquids. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to throw down a metal caster. And we're kind of going to throw the you there. Put you there. And then, because we're going to need some room, right? Because obviously the input's on the back here. Uh, so if we go with a transport, get a molten channel. If I'm not mistaken, you could click here, right? You can. You can still do that. That's kind of cool. So instead of going into the actual thing here, you can just go up to these and it'll automatically assign what item or belt you are needed to uh, output that. That's pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure there was a whole copy and 
copy paste stuff as well. Can I make that tighter? Just saying, wait. E, shift, or magnetize maybe? Or snap? So if we undo snapping, and then can I put snapping on? Or can that not go into there? Or does that have to go forward? I'm just trying to break things if things are potentially happening. If I connect that, is that going to connect there? No, I don't think I can add that close to that. Bring you into do, like so. And then we should, once they get complete, Bob will be our uncle because this should be up and running. This just needs the iron scrap because that's the only recipe it can do. And it's going to give us the molten iron. Obviously, we don't want to keep using this because this will eventually run out. We do want to start mining out this mountain here. So we will need to look into getting an excavator, start taking this mountain out. And then once we've taken the mountain out and got everything, we can then head underground and start excavating our first quarry. But we're also going to need copper as well. And it seems like the only one is over there. So everything is quite a stretch from where we need to be. So maybe if we move everything more central, maybe bring it over to this way. What's the terrain like over here, actually? Let me see. Oh, it's a bit hilly. So maybe we could possibly flatten this. We have this area. We've got some our crude oil here. Okay. We'll just play it by here and just see what happens here we go so now we can see the molten iron coming out of here that is then going into this machine splitting up what it needs to be and then this is going to be casting our beautiful iron plates and we can see now we, we can collect the uh the first little object we've done so build a farm on fertile ground uh, ground so next is going to be farm so we're going to put a farm down i guess we'll put this up here uh yeah here we go. Put a farm down. That is fertile ground. There's no specific to fertile ground, right? I'd, I suppose it is in that area. We don't want to kind of cover this water because um, we're going to want to put down pumps, right? To uh, actually get that. So here comes our trucks now to build our little farms. So we can get some potatoes. And once that's done, we need to start power production by building a diesel generator. So we do actually need to build a diesel generator. So let's go into power, get a diesel generator, and let's just kind of place it outside of this building right here. This, this is the research building, right? Let's kind of just throw you down. Actually, what if I was just to... I'm just connect this straight up. I could just put a pipe here, right? I gotta connect a pipe straight to this, so this saves the trucks doing an extra job. Let's do that. Let's get a pipe and take that straight into the... Right? Incottable port to start. Wait, what? Oh, that's an input. Never mind. This does not output. So this port does not output. Never mind. Okay. Ignore what I just tried to do. So with our farm, we have 9.2 average production. Uh, we have water, which is obviously coming from rain. Uh, and over three months, we should be looking at making 58. So estimate is 44 in one and a half months. Uh, we have soil water level and we do have soil fertility. So we, we do need to keep an eye on this. So I'm going to guess through research we might get a way to help with the fertility and maybe have a cycle of what we kind of want to do with crops. So maybe we can do like potatoes and then wheat and then re-fertilize the land and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and more than likely, we're going to be able to do make fertilizer and all that kind of good stuff as well. So our diesel generator is now up and running and is currently making 800 kilowatts, which we can see up here, but we're not consuming it. Uh, and we've got to wait for the first harvest for our potatoes, which we need 20. Uh, and then we need to research construction. So if we click on this, start a new research, we can see the good old tech tree uh, and how vast it actually is. And we're only on update two, by the way. And uh, microchip production, solar panels. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, and we can kind of see we have the research. So we have a research lab here, which requires another stuff. And then that, that's kind of like tier one stuff. And then we have another one here is there a fourth oh my god there is okay so there's a lot of stuff we gotta do obviously there's gonna be a lot of you that are gonna be experienced at this and telling me bits do this do this do this in the comments um i appreciate you you know i do um but we will get there we will figure it out and we will conquer this island uh and extract things in the bits way <laughs> so let's collect our farm we have got this uh this uh Objective done. And now we are currently researching. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't select it actually. Uh, construction, right? Which is going to give us 
um, the assembler, and it's going to give us the recipes here, which we'll get in regards to that. Uh, we do have a queue system, right? So can I click you and then go here? Can I click all the way over here? We can. Beautiful. Nice. Good, good, good. So we can do some queuing. So we already get basic farming, settlement waste, pipes, electricity, and iron smelting. Vehicles and mining. We're going to want that. Then we're going to want maintenance and a trading dock. Oh, tools. Here we go. Yeah, copy, cut, copy settings, unity tool, pause tool, upgrade, a planning mode. This is exactly what I was talking about. So we have it right here. So let's get all these up and running. Because uh, I don't want to take... I don't want to, like, click all the way over here and get all these research and queue all of them, like, set up a 20 queue. Because I feel like it might get a little bit overwhelming. Next thing you know, we're getting blinky lights all down the bottom here. Because, like, oh, you got a new item. Blah, 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 blah. To be honest, I don't mind waiting or making these recordings just a little bit longer. Well, technically for me, you guys can, you know, get it skipped through editing and post-production. Just so we can kind of keep these videos structured, especially since we're playing it kind of like... You could, you could say for the first time, but not. So our wood seems like it is... Pickup cannot deliver wood, no valid destination. Was there any um, storage? Is this storage? That's oh, a vehicle depot. Where's storage? Trading dock. Unit storage. Okay, so that's what we need, which is fourth in the queue. So now we just got to wait for this construction. Uh, research the trading dock. Uh, designate a dumping zone for waste. Okay, maybe that's what we should do now. Where do I want to go? I don't know where I kind of want to do this. Because I don't know... Oh, actually, we can kind of see the area this ship needs to move out. So as long as we don't go into here, right? So I could really just kind of build out here. Now we can just dump there, which means all of our waste will start to terraform. Beautiful. And they're already dumping the uh, waste from this actual building here. Well, all the plastic and trash and poop. Waste dumping. Beautiful. Collect. Nice. Uh, okay, so build an assembler is the next one we need to do, which we've just got. We've got the we have we do have it, and this is now blinking at us. Uh, assembler, so we can make iron, wood, and bricks into construction parts. We can also turn iron into mechanical parts, uh, rubber, copper, and electronics. So with this game you can't just kind of rush through it unless you know what you're doing because you can soft lock yourself there was a few difficulties like um for anyone who is interested in or I've played this before uh, we're just playing on the normal difficulty uh we haven't had any uh, any additional um difficulty settings so there was some like realism settings where like if you run out of fuel your vehicles will stop entirely which does make sense of course um, but I've kind of left that one off and any other settings, all that kind of stuff off, which is just your standard playthrough. Um, so they will move slow, I'm going to guess, when they run out of fuel. Uh, and it's the same for some other stuff as well. There was one called ore sorting, where if these vehicles have an excavator, where they, they might dump in some iron and dump in some coal or dump in some stone or sand or whatever, um, it doesn't make sense then just to come over here and sort it themselves and put it straight into a machine. I understand that. Um, so there is an ore sorting machine where they'll dump it into that and it will separate into different channels. I've kind of left that one off as well, which is standard. Uh, I've not put any of the realism settings on, so it will be cool to actually do that and it will add some more technically realism as the category describes it as right so in regards to the soft locking we already know the construction parts are very important we've also got mechanical parts up here and vehicle parts so vehicle parts contribute to making vehicles mechanical parts oh that's mechanical parts this is maintenance maybe vehicle maintenance where if we don't have any of these or vehicles maintenance here we go yeah this will eventually go to zero and they'll need vehicle maintenance so they'll have to consume some of this. And if that's the case, everything's just going to slow down in this scenario. If you're playing with realism mod, they'll end up stopping and all that kind of good stuff. Right, so let's put down this assembler. Let's just place it here because everything right now is temperamental. Uh, temperamental? Temporary. Everything is temporary right now until we actually start looking into getting conveyor belts and stuff. Right now, we are going to get this to make, uh, I guess we can go with mechanical parts uh, because we're definitely not making bricks, but we do have bricks in here, right? We have, we have 600. Do we have any in here as well? We do, we have 80. I should just really look over here and we have 140 apparently. That's currently in storage and stuff. 
Um, so let's kind of make this into construction points. And then we're going to put down, I guess we can put another one down and another one down. This one can make mechanical parts. And this one can make, we don't have any rubber. We have 160 rubber. Is this going to be vital to us right now, electronical parts? I would think so. I need to stop pausing it because I should really keep things moving. Uh, otherwise, this is going to take a lot longer for me to record than it would normally. Look at them all coming over. The cool thing about this game as well, you might have started to notice it, is the the surface of the actual ground changes. So we can kind of see the more these vehicles are going to be going in a certain path, it changes the terrain to more of a dirt, like it's worn out, like it's been driven on. So we can kind of, if we want to later on, we can start looking at where we want to form roads uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So we've also just got a new research now. We've also got mine control towers. So we can en enable assignment of excavators and trucks to designated mine areas. Only designated mine er uh, mining areas within the influence of the tower can be mined. We've also got a vehicle depot now as well. And we've got storage, loose storage. So that is mainly for like coal, dirt, can't remember what that is, stone maybe, coal, rubble, copper, scrap, sand, potatoes and waste. I think I was correct. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And if you are liking this video, make sure you like this, uh, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that normal jazz stuff uh, that we YouTubers normally ask for. Uh, be very much appreciated. Uh, so we've also got these. So we're going to put down, I guess we can might as well put a vehicle depot down. Uh, shove you over here. God, I'm going to be so picky where I place everything. It's going to be so annoying for me. Maybe a name for you. So we get a vehicle placement down. You don't have a recipe in there yet. I don't want to use rubber because, uh, well, we got that one done. Research trading dock. I think we are going to be, right? Pretty sure. I should have hit G. Yeah, we're about to research trading dock. Uh, research maintenance, which is what we're currently doing now, and we're about to unlock. And then produce maintenance. Produce maintenance. Uh, buildings. Maintenance depot. Okay, let's shove this. At the side of uh, side of here, these big boulders. I wonder if we can demolish these. I don't think there is a way because I don't think I can delete these. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll try and fix it for episode two because this could be a bit of a pain. It won't impact my game, but visually, it'll impact me. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a vehicle depot, so we can make uh, make pickups, which require vehicle parts, rubber, and fuel. We have excavators, and we have our tree chopper. I got a tree harvester. Um, so I, I am actually going to get a. Should we get a small excavator being made now, and maybe like two more trucks? So let's collect that. Um, iron mining. Construct. Uh, oh, okay. Construct new pickups. Two of them, which I've literally just done. Uh, build a mine control tower near the iron ore deposit. Align the small excavator and pick up to to it, and set up the mining des uh, designations. Okay, so we get a mine control tower. And we're just going to play it. I don't want to put it too close because we don't know how far this iron is underneath here, right? That's, we can just check the layers, actually. It's going to go here. Going to put you down. And then we want to edit the des designated area, right? Edit area. So let's just kind of go with... I guess I can just kind of cover it, right? We're going to just kind of... You know, that's our editing area. Which does mean if I go into here now, we have the mining des the destin uh, designation. Uh, and I guess we can just kind of stick to flat ground like here and just kind of dig your way through this mountain so we'll just kind of go here and just oop like that cool we'll just leave that to do its thing we do have this wood still coming uh this has personal storage so there is some storage inside these actual buildings here we can see the coal mine it does need some more but it is making coal it's about to produce it so it's full on wood right now and we can also turn off truck will be allowed to deliver cargo here if possible or disable uh, sorry on and off uh, and also truck will be allowed to pick up cargo so if we don't want you know um a storage and we don't want a vehicle to pick up from it we can actually disable it which is kind of cool so we can kind of prioritize okay this is for this conveyor belt and the trucks won't come over here and go and i'm just going to nick some of this coal and just take it somewhere else Oh, our new vehicle. I don't know what's going on with you vehicles. Okay, so we have these now. So if I go over to this building, I can now assign the excavator and two vehicles to this. And that should 
take them over there. They are going over there. How's this guy going to get fueled, by the way? Is he going to come all the way over here to get fuel? This one, right? He's going to come all the way over here to get fuel. That's going to be a pain. Uh, build the trading dock. Okay, so we've got that researched. So let's go into the cargo docks and trade dock. So this is where we're going to be building our stuff. Can I... Have we got enough room to put this here? I think the reason that is red is just stopping another way of entering, isn't it? That's what it is. Okay. I just wanted to confirm because, like, it was throwing me off a little bit. Can I just, like, throw this... I can't put this here connected to that. I'm just going to put it here just to be on the safe side. I don't know if that means if I put this here, though, we can move it later on. I don't mind. If I was to put that there and I, put a, I was to put like another dock on the edge of this one we're building, are these going to impact? I guess we'll find out. We will find out sooner or later when we hear a massive boom and an oil tanker has decided to blow up. All right. So our excavator is kind of digging away at the dirt because obviously I've told him to do this. But I want to loading cargo door job can we prioritize this to iron so if he sees iron he should go for it but we are collecting dirt now and he is going to dump that right i'm just wondering i know, I know there's plenty of dirt we do have storage now we have loose storage and we have the unit storage i'm going to put some of these down over here because i feel like this building well actually these buildings in general are going to require it storage there and a storage there so this one is going to be assigned to construction parts this one's going to be assigned to mechanical parts. And I guess we can do this one electronics, but I don't think we can do the rubber yet. But it's there for when we need it. I guess we could um, get one down for wood and maybe one down for coal. So let's make you into wood. Let's make you into coal. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What was that? Aha. Uh -huh. Keep full and we can make sure that they keep empty as well. And we can set the alerts if it gets to a certain... Uh, threshold that's pretty cool now uh, we can pause we can even upgrade from here as well and the storage is currently not consuming next thing enable iron recipes that uses iron ore in the blast furnace okay so if we go into here and we want to enable this one now should i disable this one maybe maybe not i guess we could right so the scrap i don't know if this scrap here is going to be for iron as well so maybe I do disable it, but we aren't pulling over iron as of yet because he's not hit the rock yet. We do have to be careful, like I said, with the whole excavating that he doesn't dig a hole here and all this comes tumbling down on him. Next thing you know, he's shouting for help and I've got a bloody lawsuit on my hands. So let's change this then to um, remove, make sure it's just iron ore itself. Uh, we do have, we don't have any wood in there yet. What's going on with this wood? Oh, I'm guessing they're mainly prioritizing putting it in here. No, into the coal machine, right? Oh, there we go. Some went in there. And then this is a loose a coal to get put into. Because I can't use this. This is from Molten right now, right? So we, I'm guessing there'll be uh, one for uh, loose. Uh, loose items. But the one thing about this game that is quite tranquil is you can literally just sit back sometimes and just look at things move and just do its thing. And it's kind of therapeutic. Well, I did come over here to have a look at the excavator, but I think he's gone to fuel himself. Has he gone to fuel? He has. There he is. Yeah, I think we're going to name these. I'm uh, probably going to name them after the you YouTube, you YouTube members. So if you are a YouTube member, I will going to name these after you. So I'm going to work down my list here. And this one's going to be called AJ. Boom. And then the tree harvester will be called Brylar. Brylar Gaming. That is you, sir. But thank you for being members. And you can now have your own designated... Can we name these trucks as well? We could, but there's going to be so many different trucks. But speaking about these, these... He's nearly out of cutting these trees down. I'm going to get him to start working on this area. I guess start pushing this back as well. As long as he's got an area to go to. At least one thing. The tree harvester does not need a designated mine tower uh, with an area. Unless there is forestry. Tree planting. There is, right here. Forest control tower, tree planter, tree saplings. Fir tree, spruce, birch, maple, oak, palm. Maybe they all have different properties of yields, maybe. And it looks like AJ here is about to... Well, he's just about to hit iron. We're just waiting on the trucks coming over. It's going to be a lot longer process just because of the, how far they have to travel from there to there. Because obviously, as he's picking up uh, iron, he's going to start picking up dirt now as well. So he's probably going to get some iron here. Yeah, so we got dirt, iron, and rock. 
uh, so we can kind of see three different items and this is where that difficulty setting uh, I saw on the main menu when we were starting this game with an ore sorting. Um, cause it, if you think about it, right, how's he going to manually organize this uh, into where it needs to go? Because he's going to head over here now and dump this, but also put the ore into somewhere. Wait, he's not dumping it all, is he? Is he getting fuel? He's too busy getting fuel. Ah, yeah. So as you notice now, he's took all the iron out there. So that one, that one guy is picking iron out there with his bloody fingers to sort this out. So maybe we do that in another playthrough. Uh, I think it'd be more, more of a better challenge trying to organize all of that. But now we've completed the iron ore mining, we can collect this and then we can purchase bricks from the, uh, for, for iron from the village on the world map. So we want to purchase bricks for iron. We have 104 iron. If we go to the world map, we have a village here and we want to purchase bricks for iron. Let's do that. Okay, so that's just gone up as well. Interesting. Donate, increase the, uh, to our reputation to donate to. Adopt 10 population. That will cost us 2.5 unity get a ship to visit loans products to lend so you can do loans select a product you want credit score oh my god you actually have a credit score oh my god what is this irl interest rates fees volume multiplier and max loans is two maybe uh we get more of that via research obviously we don't want to got use loans you never want to go into loans because loans lead to debt and then debt leads to bloody craziness and yeah right so trading let's collect that Processing iron ore, dump slag, which is about to be done. Collect that. Research the beacon. Okay, right, let's set the next research. Uh, so we want the beacon. We have basic diesel and bricks production. I think we go for bricks production, then basic diesel, and then copper refinement. Ship dock repair. I don't think that's important right now. But basic diesel could lead into synthetic rubber being created. Uh, so let's kind of go for them right now i guess we can add that because it's kind of a little side quest ship dock repair uh, build another assembler to produce construction parts so you want more construction parts so let's do a assembly here we go oh, i can just use this one let's just use this one uh construction parts so that's two pill two buildings doing construction parts now we've got to make sure we keep up with the demand for this because this is requesting 4.5 that's gonna be 4.5 that's gonna be nine so that's gonna be nine wood nine iron and 12 bricks per minute uh right now obviously we're not making bricks but we are making i believe 24 iron plates we are in demand for that and then the wood depends on uh well our throughput that our trucks bring it in from from here and obviously this is going to vary depending on the distance of where they are chopping trees down. Population growth. Research the beacon, which has been done. Build housing attach, uh, attached to the existing settlement. Okay, so you want me to build some houses onto the existing settlement. Okay, that's that done. But you want me to do two more? Oh, no. You got to... No, 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 no. Delete. Stop. He just wants one more because we've got two out of three. Build unit storage and assign it to iron. We don't have that, do we? Let's get storage. Storage unit. Hello. Uh, assign it to iron. I guess we can just kind of go here. Assign it to iron. And kind of move everything from there to there. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that. Technically, I should have just done that one. And just ignore that one for now. So construction parts, mechanical parts, which is... Oh, this is taking 7.5 as well. So 4.5, 4.5 is 9, plus 7.5 is 16.50. Or 16.5. Okay, so there's other alternate recipes we can use here. Oh no, these are different recipes. Because I'm thinking I've clicked on a recipe and I'm getting multiple ones. So now we just need to wait for the iron to be stored. I want 80. Research bricks production, which we currently are doing. Research beacon is about to be complete. And we are currently consuming 160 kilowatts right now out of our capacity of 800. So that's pretty good. And what do we need to do to repair you? We just need to research you, of course. And in regards to research, what is the key bind for research? G. Beacon research. What does the beacon do? Strong, lights, uh, strong light helps other refugees to find your island. Okay, so it's just basically um, borders are open, borders are closed. So I guess it's going to require me to build one of these now. A beacon. So I'm just going to place you right here. Boom. Big brain. Five head. We currently have 19 workers, but we have 90 months of food as well. So 90 months is quite a lot. But more than likely, this is going to drop fast. Extremely fast, more than likely. There we go. So the beacon is working. We can pause this when we don't want people. So we have a capacity of available of 210. 
How much do these houses hold? 70. I should have just divided it by three. That would have been the easiest bit, see? Oh, there we go. We can also see our mechanical parts is now set to 99% on the right-hand side because they're being made in here. Oh, that's consuming electronics. What's our electronics at? Electronics. Where are you? Let's pin you. I feel like you're an important resource. 150 and no going. Is, is there a way to get these to stop doing what they're doing? Oh, there's conveyor belts. Advanced logistic fuel station. Did I just double click that? Uh, tired of excavators going back and forth to refuel. Build this station and uh, assign it some. Oh, yes, that's what we want. But that's going to be construction two. And that's going to give me assembler twos already. And construction part twos. Which is going to consume the construction parts. And electronics. Yeah, electronics. Where are they made? Where do... Or it's rubber and copper. So we need to get copper production, which I believe we are currently about to research, right? We're currently researching bricks, and then we're doing basic diesel. Okay. And then diesel is going to give us the basic distiller. Allows distillation of low-grade diesel, but it is quite inefficient and produces a lot of waste. Oil pump, liquid dump, and fluid storage. Okay. Cool. But the population growth has been completed, uh, and now we're just waiting to store iron in the unit storage, which is taking some time okay so it's been a couple of minutes and we've just unlocked a brickworks so this is going to need dirt coal and water to make the bricks and the exhaust some fumes and we've got water extraction now so harvest rain water during rain has built in small water tank um i'm gonna guess we can put like a fluid tank on that when we get the basic distillery up and all that kind of stuff uh, we can do some water storage but this is going to need dirt and right now we're currently wasting dirt right i'm gonna do bricks here brick works you're gonna need water and you're gonna produce well you don't produce water you just you just collect for it so right now i'm just wondering if to put like um that's a lot of wood though to build it 30 30 wood maybe we should put two of these down just so we can um store that water uh, we're going to get some pipes. So if we get some pipes from here, bring these down. Um, Hold on a minute. These vehicles won't be able to go over the pipes. Okay, I think they're still going to be too small for that one. There we go. They might be able to go under this one. And if, Can I just take that there, then drop it in? Okay. I don't think the excavators are going to be able to go underneath that one, though. I think that's going to be way too, uh, way too small are the size of them well, let's connect that up to there we're also going to need an exhaust on this and then what else does this need coal and dirt so if we get a loose storage um coal and dirt i'll just go for you assign you to be coal assign you to be dirt <coughs> bada bing bada bosh we then have jobs wait a minute this is colored wait yeah, these are coloured. Wasn't they just grey a minute ago? I swear these never used to get painted. Unless they've changed it where whatever the contents are inside have actually coloured the pipes now. Because it used to be a pain in the ass that you couldn't paint the pipes. Well, anyway, that's cool. That's a cool little thing if they've done that. I guess we can kind of tell, unless that's a natural pipe colour, they've changed it to default. But if we get another item... What's all these dingings? Ding! Ding! Uh, oh, we've got fluid storage. Oh, maybe I should have put that. Let's just put it maybe here. Let's just delete you real quick. Oh, God, you're a big boy. You're a big boy. I think this is going to be in the way here as well. Let's just move you along a bit further. Go with the fluid storage and bosh. And then build a pipe. Well, remove this. There we go. Thank you. So it is raining now. And the water is going into this storage. Oh, we can see this pipe slowly changing color. It was. It was just like a dark gray a minute ago. Anyway. I mean, that's distracting me it's a cool little thing so we have dirt going into here so if we want to let's kind of keep this full so they don't prioritize kind of dumping it actually let's just zoo, keep that full there so if we keep that full they won't prioritize the dumping before this hopefully hopefully these guys are mining away he's doing a beautiful job eventually there's going to be about bloody six to maybe 20 excavators in this area so we're going to need lords eventually because things get bigger and bigger and bigger what are you doing you jobless we've still not done this one yet we've still not restored 80 because i keep consuming these construction parts which are consuming the iron parts so this is not going into uh stored <laughs> but we are producing bricks now i guess i should give this a storage where is it it's up here i should give this a storage uh boom and give you bricks bada bing bada bosh 
Yoga, how much are you producing? 12 per minute. Um, how much are you guys needing? What was it that was down here needed? Construction parts. 12. Oh, so we're not going to have any bricks left over because we have two of it. Maybe I should have done a third one. A second one, sorry. Maybe I should double this. We have got tools now, so I can control C this and copy past it. I'm going to do that. I know we're not going to have enough water. Well, let's kind of keep that up there. Take that down there. And then put another exhaust here. And consume more of my iron before that objective can get complete again. So bricks done, iron check. Next, diesel production. Okay. Build an oil pump, two of them, on an oil dep uh, uh, deposit and connect them to a basic distiller. You got it. So, oil. Crude oil refining. Oil pump. Here we go. So this is going to have, I guess we're going to put them back to back. How much do these produce actually? 18. How much does the pipe hold? 60. Good to know. So oil, 18. So that's three oil pumps can go onto this line. And that gives us a total of 54. Quick maths. And we can kind of just bring you, oh no, bring you there, I guess. Oh, I can go into planning mode now. What am I doing? If I press B, yeah, planning mode. So I can build things now without things getting built. Uh, and then we need a basic distiller, he said, right? Basic distiller, which needs... Oh, it needs 54 oil. Oh, okay, so this is going to consume all the oil I'm about to put into here. I guess we can just kind of put that here. We'll then put down a loose storage because you need coal. Kind of put you there. Set you to be coal. We're also going to need a another pipe. I'm going to take this back up again just to here then take you down again just so vehicles can get underneath i don't want the pipes to obstruct any of the vehicles especially for to help throughput and stuff uh, we do need a waste uh smokestack to put you to there uh, and then we've also got this is waste right so we're going to need a liquid dump uh, uh basic distill is about to get built yeah okay so liquid dump i guess we're going to put over here it's going to get you and dump you into the ocean who cares about turtles <laughs> For you, take you up by two, take you all the way along. Bam. Um, and then, I guess we should really put this into a fluid storage here. Take you into there. And that sh is our basic thingy set, right? How do we play this? Build. Boom. Boom. So now they're all blue, which means they're going to get built. I don't think we're going to have the enough mechanical parts for this, but I guess we'll see. Here they come, the vehicles. They are working hard. Good job, peeps. You'll all get bonuses. Oh, I just found out if I press Z, I can actually bring up the uh, terrain and all that stuff. I need to go through all these keybinds. But this is nearly done. We have oil pumping. <gasps> the pipes have gone black, so it is whatever the whatever is inside your pipe. That is pretty cool. Look, so these are grey right here. So once this boots up, once it gets some coal, once it gets coal, so they're taking coal out of there, and they're going to take it up here. We've got to be careful with that, but it is right next to the coal mine right there anyway so here we go i want to see if this pipe is kind of fascinating me these pipe changing colors okay here we go here we go is it gonna go orange <gasps> it is i'm easily amused easily amused because for all you guys that know when i'm oh my god it's even got poop for this color um for all you guys know i like to make sure whatever factory game we play when it comes to fluids is to make sure that they are colored whatever they are right because it doesn't just help me because i easily understand now this yellow pipe here is fuel this one is basically poop uh, and then you guys from a visual standpoint will understand what is which right so if it's brown you guys know it's going to be poop um and all that kind of good stuff so it's i do that in satisfactory as you know like water pipes go blue uh, uh, oil, uh, heavy oil residue goes uh, purple, so like it's basically the colors I'll go for anyway. Oh, they're even cutting trees over here now. And this fluid isn't even a full. Oh, I need to assign this wastewater. There we go. Oh my god, that is literally me after a curry. Uh, stockpile diesel. Uh, disable truck import for the new diesel storage. Okay, so disable truck import. Okay. I'm guessing so that they don't bring it from over here. Um, next thing you know is repair the shipyard so we can get that. That's gonna be, oh, that's a hundred construction parts. Jeez. We are, are we not producing bricks yet? What's going on up here? Are we just not? Oh, it's the dirt. They're still waiting on dirt. I'm just wondering, do we? Do, wait, this is coal, right? Hold on a minute. This is... Oh my god, what am I doing? Let's get 
Let's get two new vehicles. Oh, sorry, a new excavator. Two new pickups. Let's get a new tower and let's start taking out this. Get some coal going this way. It's so much easier. Uh, let's bring this out a bit further. Let's do that. What's the... Oh, that's P. I might have to put that on a different thing. I don't like reaching over my keyboard to get buttons. Uh, okay, so now we've got that. Let's edit this area. So my coal area... Where is it? L, L is layers. Okay. Is there, it's only a small amount of coal because I'm guessing we'll have to go to that big boy later. So let's kind of edit this area. Maybe we should flatten this terrain as well. Just kind of get rid of this edit area again. Let's bring it down a bit more. Uh, this is going to be our coal. So we're going to want to mining... And we're just going to take it from there to there. We're just going to flatten this whole area. Is that in the area there? That is. <gasps> Wait, no, that's under it, isn't it? Wait, no, I did it again. It's not on the right level. F. No. F. Q. Bring it onto this level. There we go. This is what we want. We bring it here. Because that's going to cut away at this block here. Because it's obviously this is... This up here is higher than down here. So it's going to cut away. And then we can kind of make a, a quarry down here. So I guess we can get the dirt from this, which is going to be beneficial. So we'll get dirt from here, we'll get coal from here, which is kind of what we want. We have bricks coming in on this vehicle as well, so they are being made. It's just, it's just a little slow because the amount of dirt we're doing. Otherwise, what I could potentially do is start excavating all this land here, where it's very hilly, and we start maybe flattening this terrain here, so we can have like our main core factory up here at some point, because it's obviously a bit closer to the copper, closer to the iron, um, the limestone, the sand, and it saves it being over here then, so it's, there's, the treks aren't going to be too too long. Okay, so ship health and repair. Let's click that to auto repair. We need to fill this. How do we fill this? Oh, I need to pause the beacon, it's telling me as well. Pause the beacon. How do we fill this? Oh, here we go. Keep full. Is that what you want? Oh, boom. It took it from the shipyard. And then load the crew. Explore for, uh, first location on the world map. Okay, uh, let's remove that. Just anywhere. Here, explore. He's off. Honker honk. Honk. So, wasn't we able to build rubber? How do we build rubber? Rubber maker. Fuel, uh, fuel and coal. So fuel and coal, like they make us rubber. So if I just spin you around, it's gonna just go that way. And if we go with a storage, and we go with you to there. Oh, has this got waste as well? How much waste is this giving out? 12, okay, so we can put more into here. Let's get a pipe from there and take you and then we're going to need a pipe from you to you so we can automate the fuel to go into here but we can't automate the coal into here when the coal is going to be in here so maybe we should kind of keep that full since it's going to be doing power and fuel because it's a uh, important right what's again i build that boom done obviously we want this to be making rubber we want this to be assigned to rubber. Cool beans. Oh, he's getting fuel from here. <gasps> so they'll actually grab fuel from the fuel storage. Beautiful. Uh, or, okay, our next excavator is done. So this one is going to be uh, KM. Boom. That's two of you now. Just got literally two initials. But again, thanks for being members. I appreciate you. Hey, we finally got that done we still we need two more iron can we get two more in iron in here before we so we can get this completed produce bricks we're still not producing bricks wait we are producing bricks why are we not getting that we're not bricks are stored in here you can set up a, di a dedicated dirt mine in case you don't have enough of it i feel like this one is bugged because is it me or is this storage full of bricks that's the iron one huh can i remove this one this is not this is bugged so obviously the bricks are full Okay, anyway, we'll ignore that. Uh, build another assembler, produce electronics, and produce vehicle parts. I can hold shift, can I, and thingy. So this to be vehicle parts, and we want this to be electronics. And then we'll change you to vehicle parts, and then I guess I'll change you to electronics. Then we get the pause tool, play that, bada bing, bada bosh, get them built. But yeah, I, I, that's bugging me now, how this is up here. And it says zero to eight, even though we've got a full storage full. And there we go. We're now building the me, uh, vehicle parts and electronics. And they'll all get put into storage, which they're already pulling. Are they pulling in from over here? They are. Okay. Wait a minute. Maybe we didn't produce the bricks. Maybe these bricks are imported. Maybe. We have dirt. Oh, I've told them to keep it full. What an absolute spoon. Because I've told them to keep this full, 
they're not emptying it to put into these. There we go. What an absolute... Yeah, now look at that. Collect, collect, collect. What a... Okay, I think that's going to sum up me for this video because... <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, but next time we're going to work on copper production and see what else the research table is going to throw at us. So if you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and also leave a comment. And as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.